Welcome to the second part of my E4 Antebellum Nisia campaign. As you can see, we have formed the Hellenic Empire and it's completely overpowered, man. This mission tree made us insanely military-wise powerful. It upgraded our ideas. So we kept the same Nisia ideas, but they have larger bonuses. Like, for example, this was 10% shock damage received reduction. And after forming Hellenic Empire, it's 15%. And so on. The same goes for core creation cost, military advisor cost. So if we go to our country modifiers right now, we have a minus 45% military advisor cost reduction plus 75% morale of armies and this is not with maxed out prestige. So if we max out our prestige it will be above 80% and another worth mentioning modifier is idea cost. It's minus 15% and we also have minus 10% all powers cost which also affects the idea so technically we have 25% idea cost reduction. So yeah you get the point we are completely overpowered at this point and we have a very large portion of the missions that we have not completed yet so we will get even more bonuses. We have Syria as our vessel. We also changed our religion to Hellenic and it has a deity system. We selected the morale of armies and shock damage received the deity but if you want to learn more about this campaign and how we got to this point I recommend you watch the first video. I will leave the link in the description and now let's continue this campaign. So what I'm gonna do at this point I think I will start a war versus Seljuks they are allied to the Abbasids so in this war I can take provinces from both of these guys might as well even call in Tunis so let's set up our troops I think yeah we can focus completely Abbasids at the start take some provinces from them finish that war maybe cancel their alliance and then focus the Seljuks we have a very high spy network on both of these nations which means our siege ability will be insane because we have offensive and espionage ideas and we have 10% siege ability from espionage as well as 20% from offensive ideas. So getting their forts should be no problem at all. Now before starting the war what I'm gonna do is summon the diet. Yeah let's go for this clergy option we need to change Cilicia's religion that's cool. I'll get the edict going on and after I finish my previous conversion I'll start it. But for now we can seize lands, no rebels from clergy which is awesome. Okay we do have some orthodox zealot spawn so first of all let's take care of that real quick. And here we go. These guys are still level 5 military, oh man, sucks to be them. Same goes for Seljuk. Yeah I'm ready, let's start this war. Our generals are completely awesome because we have very high army tradition. So let's equip this two siege guy now and let's go for their fort. We can also rush their capital afterwards. Barrage this crap. Barrage this as well. Very crap timing on this. Actually I think I want to save my government reform progress. Let's just lose the stability. Insanely quick sieges. Insanely quick. Let's continue upgrading espionage. Nearly done with that so I might just finish it and then focus on my Diplo technology. We can kill these guys over here real quick. Is this gonna be a stack wipe? It looks like it will be. Yes, oh my god. 20,000 units just gone like that. Man, these boys are screwed. And Tunis is also going in. Good job, boy. Okay, I don't want this guy to siege down my fort. I think I will return for a second. Oh, you're running now. I see how it is. Well, sucks to be you because I just caught you, boy. I'ma just keep deleting them left and right. Look at that. Another wipe here. Beautiful. Uh, actually, yeah, we can get the injured out of the work pretty fast, I think. Okay, the injured weasels are done. One more boy out of the war. Just collecting a little bit of tax from them. Here's our next government reform ready. Oh wow, we have so many options over here. This one's so interesting. Gain free general slot for each 100,000 troops. Up to 3 free general slots. Monthly militarization from this one. Mercenary army, oh man. I think I gotta go for this one though. Manpower recovery and national manpower modifier plus 10%. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Boom, espionage completed. And I think we're pretty much done here with the Abbasids. So what we need to take from them are the highlighted provinces. Okay, we can take it. Sure. 
Yeah, let's select this. All right, cool. The provinces that I need, warps, 800 ducats. Now, do I need to take this? Yeah, I'm getting most of the money, so this is perfect. Let's go. Awesome. Mission completed. 25 prestige and aggressive expansion impact reduction for 25 years, as well as perma claims on Egypt. Tunis and the war, that's fine. Now, how great our loans are. 375. Yeah, we can repay the older ones at this point. Sure. I'm now left with 10 loans, which is perfect. I have some problems with my gardening capacity, so it's time to take some land rights. Good, the war is done. I'm just taking as many provinces as I can and all of their money. Oh my god. Exactly 100% overextension. Can we fix this? Oh no. Yeah, we have to concentrate this. Oh my god. Thankfully. Oh, would you look at that? Sicily. No alliances. They're currently in a war versus Andalusia. Is this time for me to strike them? Because I think it might be. I have these perma claims on them. I think I will use them. Yep, let's go for it. Now I would like to have two more transports so I could freely transport my mercs. I will build a couple cogs. Here we go, one here and one here. Let's also start spying on Venice. We have arrived, boys. And I have built the transports and I can get my mercs up in here. Get destroyed, man. Get destroyed. Oh, wow. Andalusia actually arrived. Damn, son. You're gonna steal my provinces, dude. They are stealing a lot of provinces. And now I can finish offensive ideas and get this amazing policy. Plus one diplomat and spy network construction. Wait, what? They just finished the war. So what did they get? Oh, they took this one province. Okay. Um, that's perfect for me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, what the hell is happening over here? How are his ships not leaving the coast when it's occupied by me? Okay, that beats me. He's just too good, man. He's just too good. Yeah, okay, I'm ready to finish the war. I'm just taking most of the provinces needed for this mission. Not all of them, but it's already a lot of aggressive expansion, so yeah, it's okay. We can finish it right now. Perhaps concentrate a little bit. Lots of admin points available, so we can acquire all of this. Okay, I didn't think about this. Maybe I should click this decision. Pick a new capital. Yeah, this is a pretty good decision. Actually, maybe let's ma make Byzantium our capital. It's a level 3 trade center. Yeah, 6 development and this new capital sounds good. Jeez, the advisor costs are insane. The discipline guy level 1 costs half a ducat. So it looks like I don't have enough missionary strength to convert this province and I cannot complete my agenda. But what I can do is take one of these privileges, allow religious delegation and boom, we have this decision. Now we just need 40 clergy influence and we can easily get this up by getting some more privileges like this one, religious culture. This guy's a bit unhappy, we can placate him. Now we can click this button, boom, completed. And take this amazing level 3 advisor. I am definitely picking him. And look at that. We have insane missionary strength now. Level 6 diplo. And this means I can take level 8 admin as well. Lots more states to be made. Definitely time to reduce the autonomy. Because since the last time we did this. We have expanded insanely. Oh my god this list is so long. Yeah seems about right now. I think at this point we can do this mission, dismantle Bulgaria. We need to make sure Bulgaria does not exist and that we have these three provinces. Our truce with Bulgaria expires in one year, so in the meantime we can declare on Magyars and take the needed provinces. Zaporozhye is not joining, so this will be much easier than expected. And we can even co-belligerent this guy. Yeah, we can start it like this. Let's go boys. I mean, Bosnia has a few cores. Maybe should I... I probably should take them as my vassal. Why not? Don't run, my boy. Don't run. Yep, we can just wipe them just like this. This guy is gonna receive the belt as well. Take that. Oh, damn. Rebellions keep spawning. I have this army to take care of them. Okay, so everyone ganged up on Magyars. Unfortunately, I can't even occupy their capital. These guys, man. Styria. 
you're gonna pay for this. Okay, I've made up my mind. I won't be vassalizing Bosnia. And that's because of this reason. I'm taking all of these bronzes. There's no collision. And a little bit of cash. Here we go. And now let's go over to our subjects and release Serbia actually. So I didn't want to vassalize Bosnia instead of Serbia because they basically share the same course and Serbia has more course. So I think it's better to have this vassal. And to complete the mission dismantle Bulgaria we don't need to directly own the needed provinces. It can be our vassal provinces. Now it's just that we need to remove Bulgaria themselves and we can do it. Since we have espionage ideas we can now fabricate claims on whole areas instead of single provinces. And that is very useful. Okay, come here Bulgaria. They're protected by Zoporozhye and Podolia, that's completely okay with me. Let's crush these boys. Take out the trash real quick. That's right. Let's go and take level 8 military. Finally. And boom, only thing it really took for us was to get their capitals. We just need to occupy like one more province and we can piece them out. Yep, it's done. Thank you very much, we can take a little bit of cash. And let's finally full annex Bulgaria. Let's go and like that we can finish the mission dismantle Bulgaria. 15 power projection and aggressive expansion impact. Serbia does exist so we will gain subjugation castes belly in them. I mean that doesn't really help me as they're already my vassal. And you know reconquering Serbia's course sounds very good as we have 6 cores on Venice. Kinda wanna go for this. Yeah man let's do it. This man's done. Take that. Okay, I've successfully got Siena out of the war. Luca and Mantua are going to be followed. I'm already sieging these boys. Okay, I can piece everyone out. Absolutely amazing. Get out of here, boys. Wiped, oh my goodness. They don't deserve this beating, man. I'm sorry, Venice. Venice was uh, looted. And we can complete a mission sack Venice. 80 devastation, we gain 500 ducats, 40 mil power, it gets a modifier that increases the development cost and we actually get minus 10% development cost ourselves for 20 years. Nice, let's go. And here is what I'm taking. I'm gonna take this one province in Italy. It will unlock me more paths to expand in Italy myself. All the cores back to Serbia, a few provinces for myself and Kosovo is of course a core of Serbia but I'm gonna take it directly for myself as well as I wanna use this gold mine. So yeah, here we go. Let's start coring. And I no longer wanna have these mercenaries, they're very expensive to upkeep. I'm gonna disband these guys after I unseize the province. Cool, you can go. We can finally seize some lands and get above 20%. Now my choice with the Abbases is about to expire, so yeah, I will probably declare on them. Seljuks expires after 2 years, so I have 2 years to deal with Abbasids. That's fine, that's fine. Let's get all of our units over there. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, they're still allied. So I'm sending one army over here. I think I won't call in Tunis this time, I don't really need their help. Let's go boys. Oh, we found him, we found him. Get back to your cave, my friend. And that was the quickest white piece ever. Let's go. But he got removed, man. 52% war score already. Easy as that, we are pretty much done with the war. I'm actually dealing with the rebels with my with one of my armies. Because Abbasids are just nowhere to be found. They don't have any units. Destroy boy, what can I say? Very nice peace deal. Let me get some buildings at this point. How much money workshops are giving us, it's insane. 1.5 ducats from this one workshop. Some churches as well, maybe can we get some, yeah let's get one marketplace and we can even upgrade one of the trade centers. I do have some loans but it's fine, we can deal with that. We can keep stealing everyone's money from the wars. Our truce with Sicily will be over pretty shortly so I will be declaring on them next. Ooh, excellent minister. We can get some additional prestige admin, government reform or some mill power. I'll be going for this option just because of the government reform progress to be honest. I guess we could do a war versus Jalirids while we still have this truce. Cause this truce is expired indeed. They're allied with Hormuz, Injuids, Sassanids, okay. Yeah, I think we can go for this. Let's move. Get out of here son. 
They're so annoying, man. They all stacked around me. All three of their armies. I will barrage this fort. Okay, I think let's get this white piece with injured. Now it's just Hormuz and Sassanids. Fine, fine, fine. But on the other hand, I can go ahead and declare on Sicily in the meantime. So we can deal with both of these wars at the same time. They have no alliances, which is absolutely amazing. Let's wreck these boys. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Get wiped, son. Cool, the war with Sicily took like a few months. I'm um, taking all of the highlighted provinces. Basically, they're gonna stay with two provinces over here. As I just cannot take them. And colonialism has appeared in one of them. So that's a big bonus for us. Let's complete this mission, Magna Grecia. I wonder what this does. We get a new decision. So for 100 Diplo, we can change the culture to Greek and religion to Hellenic. In multiple provinces. Okay, that's awesome. And I don't really want to have this 2-3-3 guy on my throne. I will get rid of him. Hopefully we get a better heir. Plus one stab. Let's go. Oh my goodness, having claims bordering claims and being able to claim whole states is insane. Look at how many claims we just got. And this is from 100 spy network on Sassanids and on Injuids. We basically have claims on all of their provinces. Boom, Hormuz is done. And this can only mean full annexation of Jalirids for me. Oh god, that's a little bit more overextension than I expected. I did not calculate this enough. But what if I increased my governing capacity a little bit by taking this privilege and by sacrificing a little bit of these points? Oh man, it still was not enough. 102%. Oh god. Yeah, we will need to deal with insane amount of rebels for a little while. But on the other hand, we can complete conquer Mesopotamia. So lots of perma claims. Culture in Baghdad will become Greek. The religion changes to Hellenic. All provinces in Mesopotamia get prosperity, growth and local development cost. And if we complete this mission while we follow Hellenic faith, we spawn a center of Hellenization. Oh man, let's go. Oh good lord man, I don't deserve this for just having 2% above the recommended or extension. God damn it son. Anyways, let's now click this and change the culture. And religion as well. Beautiful. I see Ethiopia had fun with the Abbasids as well. We have this ongoing disaster at this point. Aristocratic coup. Yeah, because of the 100% nobility influence. I mean, if we get above 60 loyalty, it's not gonna spread any longer. So it should not be a big deal because we have 72% equilibrium. So I'm not even gonna pay attention to this. And we have basically resolved our issues with overextension, which is nice. Now what? Seljuk? I think so. We can go for Seljuk. Let me get my loyal troops. I hope you're ready Seljuk because we are coming and we are co-belligerent Ilkhanid so we can take provinces from them as well. Karenids are not joining. These guys are such Karens man. Let's go. And since I have so many admin points I will develop this province a little bit. We have colonialism in Italy and we can also spawn it somewhere around here too. Yeah, let's even spend some mill power and let's keep developing this. Stop right here. Where are you going, Ilkanet? Damn, this boy is a traveler. Going all the way to Tunis. Actually, let's get this spy network going on to speed things up a little bit. Okay, I got you. No more running, dude. Here we go. Okay, our ruler died and we have a new one. He's actually much, much better. 353 three is really good stats. We can select a new deity. Last time I went for Ares. He's actually really good. But I think this time I will be going for Zeus. National unrest and shock damage. Let's try this out. Alright, injured are out of the war. Another white piece. I'm just gonna assault this fort. And here we go. Very quick one. Let's move towards Gazimuk now. And yeah, it's time to finish the war with Ilkhanid. Just some provinces. Some nice, nice juicy provinces with trade centers with silk. And look how many buildings he had here. Well, thank you for sharing, my guy. Let's concentrate a little bit and core this up. These guys even killed my rebels. Such good guys, man. Seljuks, I owe you so much, man. Let me show my kindness to you. 
Here we go, buddy. I'll show you your way home. And boom, I have spawn colonialism in this province as well. Now it's gonna spread pretty quickly to our Anatolian provinces too. We can speed this up a little bit actually by getting the institution spread edict. Get out of here, Gazmuk. I don't need nothing from you. Boom, 99% war score. 40%. 40.5% overextension at this point. And if I take this, it's 59.2, so this is actually beautiful. We can take a bit more cash and finish this. Awesome, 97.7, and maybe, maybe we can concentrate a little bit. No. So, anyways, let's score this then. One of our subjects is not happy, so we can placate Syria. How the hell our relations are so bad? Oh, wow. We are absolutely massive now. And it's only 1524. I guess since I cannot state these provinces, I might as well put some of the provinces in my trade company. Yeah, let's put the trade centers in there. There we go. This is gonna fix my economy a little bit. And this way we get another merchant as well. I should have done this a bit earlier. It is the age of reformation now. And our economy at this point is a little bit problematic because we're losing 28 ducats in interest. That's our main losses. So I think I will take like a couple years or maybe three years to recover. I, I might disable my army after dealing with these rebel factions that I have. Just a few of them. Then I will start developing Kosovo. I will first want to change this religion, I think. Yeah. Can reduce autonomy right now and speaking of autonomy yeah it's reduced everywhere right now so i'll work some things out and then maybe i can continue expanding new heir dionysos he's average he's average i'm gonna get a couple more generals here we go they're awesome they're all awesome man okay i have basically resolved the main issue i'm now producing 10 ducats from gold reduced my interest to 26 and we're no longer at a minus balance, even though I have all my forts enabled and my army enabled as well. We're also finishing to annex Syria and pretty much ready for another war. And at this point, I think I will be declaring on the Abbasids. Hey, that's awesome. Hormuz is not even joining. So we just need to beat Seljuks and Shamar. That is super, super easy. Let's declare. Actually, we can finish this annexation right now. Just concentrate a little bit of development and it's done. Boom, Syria is ours. Even though Shamar was not co-belligerent, I don't need to white piece them or anything like that. I can actually full annex him anyways. No one cares about it, so why not? Let's take him. It's very, very low development lands. Seljuks, on the other hand, man, just give me all your cash and that's it. And all right, I'm done with the Abbasids. This is what I'm gonna take. A little bit of money as well. Much appreciated. And now, since I have a direct connection with Ethiopia, I can also declare on them. They only have Ajran as their alliance. 40k units. But if we would check the ledger, I'm pretty sure we are much stronger than these guys. Yeah, look at the difference. 4.26 morale versus 2.77. They do have a bit more discipline, but we also have other modifiers such as shock damage received minus 15% and additional 10% shock damage from Zeus. So we are definitely much, much stronger. And I want to make sure they don't get any other alliances while I get my troops nearby. So I will declare a bit earlier. Let's go for it now. Just let's get this rebel army first gone. Or a golden era ended as well. And we have a bunch more rebels. Okay, okay, so... Uh, yeah, abandon the plan. Actually deal with the rebels right now. Okay, now we can seize the lands. And now is the perfect time to be declaring. Here we go. Yeah, we're stronger. Get out of here, bastards. That's right. I currently don't have the money needed to embrace colonialism, but I really want to start getting new ideas, so I will get the level 10 admin at least. And for the third idea group, I might go for something from the admin section. Religious, I think, is necessary at this point, because we are having lots of issues with our religious unity. Oh, Ajran is on low, that's nice. 94% now. So we're basically done, we're getting this fort in a second. Now what exactly do I need from them? Okay, that's quite a lot of provinces, I'm not sure if I can take all of them. 
Oh yeah, I actually can. So I'll be able to complete this mission then. And some kind of an event will happen. And I definitely want to get full money. And maybe even warps. Perfect. We can get everything we need. Oh, I so want to repay these loans, man. Now let's score everything. And let's complete the mission and see what happens. Ptolemaic Restoration. Two base tax production and manpower in Alexandria. Establish a puppet vassal state of Egypt or establish a lesser union of Egypt. Oh god, I, I wish I knew what those did. But I will cancel all the, all the cores. And I think I will go for this puppet vassal state of Egypt. Oh god, we have this huge blue Egypt now. I hope this was the right choice. I really hope so. I mean, the good thing is that we don't have to worry about coring all of this. And they do not have their own mission tree from what it seems. Since we have spare admin points, we can start investing into religious ideas. Plus one missionary is amazing. We can convert twice as much. Now, if we develop these Greek provinces a little bit. Let's get this to 10. This one's, yeah, this one's nearly done as well. So we can get this one. Another one at 7. And here we go, we have 10 Greek provinces with 10 development here in the Balkans now. And we can complete the mission Restore Greek Countryside. Construction cost, production efficiency and admin power. And we can also complete the mission Secure the Hellespont. Center of trade in Nicaea is increased by 1, it was level 2 so that's amazing. We get another level 3 center of trade as well as until the end of the game, 10% domestic trade power. Actually, I kind of like this vessel since I did not core any of these provinces anyways. I mean, they were not in my states. I had them in trade company, but only the trade centers. And now I don't have to worry about this area. He has his own troops. I think I will keep him for a long time. Oh, I needed this so much thousand ducats. Yes, please. Two more loans repaid. Go down to 15 and our balance is looking so much better now. Oh god, Egypt. What's happening? What's happening, my guy? I guess I have to help him out a little bit. Abbasid separatists, oh god. But since we have no rebels ourselves, let's summon the diet. Sell titles. Yeah, conversion option, okay. And how much? We only need like less than a hundred ducats to embrace, so I can save up a little bit actually. And I will seize lands. 27% is okay. Boom, here's our colonialism, finally. Amazing. I have declared on Sassanids, Co-Belligerented, Mehranids and Zikids. And I plan to take a lot of provinces in this war from Persian subcontinent and hopefully connect my lands to Shapurids over here. I'm quite behind in mill technology so I'm not gonna barrage. I think I will need a little bit more units for this war so I will take one loan. I can afford to do so as I have repaired my balance and speaking of it let's even reduce more inflation and let's perhaps get a few more units over here good so this fort fell we can probably defeat him here yep get out of here man good 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 now i would love to defeat this guy too okay that's nice 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 let's build up even more units and these new units we can use to get rid the rebels off with. Take that son, I love how they're split everywhere. Hopefully they're not gonna get this fort, hopefully. Oh thank you so much Sassanids, you're a lifesaver. And they did not get it. That's what you get now. Yes, more manpower, definitely gonna take that. Leave my forts boy, leave it. Level 9 Diplo. Manpower is looking low. I should... Yeah, let's slack it now. Their manpower is not looking good either. Oh man. We might be winning the war just based on the manpower, to be honest. Please don't get it at 21%. Oh, thank god. And at last we have a new government reform, tier 5 now. It's a bit late because I've been spending some points to increase my governing capacity, but we have it now. And let's actually go for additional religious unity. I definitely need it so much, man. Yes. Give me your bronze kids. Thank you. We can give our air military command. He's not very good, so he can serve us as a general at least. Oh, sure. Minus 3 unrest for 10 years in all Turkish provinces. Okay. 
Here's our level 10 finally. Plus 3% missionary strength. Give me that. And it used to take like 50 months to convert. Now it takes 20. Cool. Kara Kitai is leaving. That's what I like to see. Okay, so in this war I will need all of these provinces. I think I can take it from Mikranets. I will just need a little bit more war score. Her stage ability. And we can take war score versus other religions. Let's go. I think I am quite happy with this peace deal from the Mechronids, so I will finish the war right now. If I take more provinces, the overextension will be killing me. So yeah, it's a good time to finish. Yeah, we can't even concentrate this, so yeah. Good that we did this. Oh wait, Sassanids actually have cores on all of these provinces. Okay, so I cannot core them during the war. This means I will have to go crazy. Or crazy overextension. I mean, gotta do what we gotta do. I'll just take all of these bronzes in this case. The overextension will be insane. 172%. But I definitely don't want to waste so many years not to take anything. Now what we can do is march on Persepolis. Plus 1 mil point for our ruler. Discipline plus 5%. Prestige decay. Permaclaims on Persia region and Arabia region. And this mission we can complete pretty fast fast I think so just maybe one more war with Sassanids and Mikranids and I will need to fight Shepherds as well okay now is definitely the time to deal with the, all of the rebellions that will be spawning so a couple years off for me let me core all this up oh god and let's get back on track repay a couple loans perhaps or at least one loan I just want to show you what I'm currently dealing with oh god the rebellions are going crazy. Core everything as fast as possible, man. Okay, looks like Egypt will also need some help. 52,000 just spawned. Oh my goodness. Oh lord. Croatian conquest of Visoki? These guys actually attacked us. They attacked Serbia. Damn, son. Okay, we gotta be a bit more careful now. That's not a very good timing for me. But the course will finish, the course will finish. At least they get rid of some of the rebels, so that's a plus. And I think I actually got a declare on Abbasids because they will enter the collision. Seleucs have already entered, so let's declare on them and avoid this collision. Okay, okay, we finished some course. The overextension is going down. Let me quickly barrage Seleucs and get them out of the war. Holy crap, guys, relax. Barrage this as well. Assault it too. Our extension is finished, but we have lots more problems, man. Lots more problems, but we can soon get this white piece. 14 war, war score left, okay. Now we definitely need to debase currency as we need some cash. Playing with fire here, basically. Okay, boom, here's this white piece. Part of the problem is solved, we can get out of here. The money is the issue now and of course Croatia is the issue. What do they even want? Are they crazy? They want to take all of Serbia. Do we just give it to them? You know what? I think I would be pushing my luck if I didn't give it. Not taking Kosovo which is good. And actually these provinces are not that useful for me anyways. So we can just have it. There we go. Enjoy. Holy crap that was... A crazy sequence of events. Now we need to restore our economy somehow. I will come with revenge Croatia and Florence. Oh, don't you worry about that. Can we get some alliances? Uh, yeah, I think that was the problem. That we did not have any allies to support us. Lower Burgundy. We could perhaps get to wear on our side eventually. Or even Teodoro. Oh, I mean, they're not very strong. So Novgorod or Tver would do definitely. Hey, we have zero rebels in our nation. So not everything is lost. We have saved the Hellenic Empire. Let's reduce a little bit of autonomy. Gotta sell some titles. Definitely gotta sell some titles. Because I need right now to be repaying these loans, man. Okay, I am down to 16 loans. Need to get rid of the edicts as well to save up a little bit more money. Do we have any more? Oh yeah, we had the defense edict here for a while. And I'm gonna keep improved gold mining. Now what I could do is declare on Karenids. I think that's the way to go. Actually, all of our losses are from corruption, so... 
we will remove this and our economy will be pretty much on point. And that is very, very good news for us. Yeah, why not do it like this? Declare on Shapurids for this province and co belligerent Karenids. Looks amazing. Take that, boys. Very good. The war is pretty much done. Not gonna go over 100 or extension this time. So 89 is too much. I have 39 at this moment. I can take like 60. So let's cut a few provinces. Yeah, something like this looks good as we get more money as well. So we can finish like that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm bad at completing these agendas this game. So this really helps me. These privileges are awesome. Actually, might as well get this level 3 missionary strength guy now. Let's convert everything at lightning speed. Level 12 military, now we're pretty much on point. The army tradition is crazy. And it's kinda... Oh, okay, Twer. Twer wants to ally us now. That is amazing. We have a super strong ally now. How is he not in the top 8? I guess he doesn't have the institutions or something because he has 80k troops. Holy crap, Andalusia is target of coalition of Borbonai, Never, Genoa, Savoy, Liege. Holy crap, what did these guys do in France here? Now if we build a castle here in Malta and develop it to 6 military, we will be able to complete fortify Malta. I'm gonna do this just for the ship trade propagation, that sounds nice. Oh nice, this area is amazing. I think he deserves a name like this. Hey Kerman, time for you to go and time for me to upgrade my admin technology. Looking forward to this 100 additional government capacity for sure. Thank you for the province. Might as well delete more forts, don't need them. This one on the mountains is cool with me. Our name placement is so much nicer at this point. So the truce with Mechernitz is over, but I kinda wanna wait a bit more so I can co-belligerent Sassanids as well. So I think we're gonna wait one more year. Here we go, additional governing capacity, love that. And plus one stability, let's go. Soon as it gives plus one stab, it takes it away or asks for 25 government reform progress. Yeah, let's just lose it. That sucks. Okay, the truce is over, boys. And this means I am declaring co-belligeranting everyone. Actually, maybe not Gazimok, I don't need their provinces. Let's go. So looks like I cannot take all of the provinces that I wanted to take from Sassanids. They will be left with one province. This guy actually has 38 development province. It's unbelievable, man. But anyways, we will need one more war with them. Let's just finish it right now. Concentrate a little bit. And I cannot core these provinces because they are wars of the Mechranids. So from Mechranids, I will also aim to take just a few provinces needed for this mission. So actually two provinces. Good, looks like Gazemuk is out. Let me start building some more courthouses to increase our governing capacity. And I forgot about Malta, let's boost this once and we can complete the mission fortify Malta. And actually, hmm, level 4 fort. Man, to be honest, I don't need it here, so I'm actually gonna destroy it. I would not normally do this, but since I'm just going for the Alexander's Empire and don't plan continuing after this, it's best for me not to waste money on that fort. And to be honest, I don't really need to waste money on this fort as well. Might as well delete it. Whoa, what the hell is happening? Everyone's requesting access. Okay, I see, I see. It's the League War. Let me get another idea from Religious. Plus two tolerance of true faith. Super useful. And we're gonna get plus one after two more ideas. Okay, looks like we can end the war with Turkestan. Just give me money and war apps. I'm fine with that. And Mikhernitz, as I wanted just two provinces from you guys. But I'm gonna wait just a little bit to get this core. Done, we are done. And a rivalry as well. Thank you. Now we can start coring this. I will definitely not say no to 10% tax modifier. Second age ability is ready and I'm gonna go for institution spread in true faith provinces. As I do need this new institution printing press. It's spreading quite fastly in my nation. Already available in my capital and in Nisia. And soon we will be able to get it. Any army tradition or 50 mil power? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have still insanely high army tradition. Give me mil. And the time has come. Truce has expired with Shapurids. So I'm ready for a huge war. They have a lot of promises that I desire. Oh, you can't be serious. The rebels spawned here. 
Anyways, let's take another religious idea. At this point, we can loot this scrap. I had to take one more loan, but I'm gonna use this money, actually. Let me get some more courthouses. You're doomed. There we go. Yeah, give me something like this. I will split them in two. There we go. Now to complete the mission over here, I need one more province and that's just Sassanids. And I'm basically midway to completing Reclaim Greco-Bactria. Nothing to concentrate. Okay, let's do our best to quarry then. I will need new rivals. Hmm, we can go for Styriashur and Novgorod maybe. Okay, I need Spy Network on Turkistan. They hold some provinces that I need and they're allied with Sassanids so I could drag them into the war and finally finish them off. Our ruler died and we have Alexander the First. 632, very good. New deity is needed. I actually really like this Zeus deity because it helps me deal with the rebels. So I think I will just continue and get to him again. I think it's time to automatically complete the agenda, so I'll grab this decision. And this will grant me 5% morale of armies and land maintenance modifier. Okay, no more issues with overextension, great. Here is our claim on Turkestan. So what do we need from them? Okay, so these three provinces, that's fine. Truce is over in one year, okay. Okay, great. I can develop these provinces a little bit with my Diplo. Printing press is almost here. Let's develop this one right here as well. And I think we can upgrade a couple of centers of trade too. Why not? Truce with Turkestan is over. Novgorod is now guaranteeing their independence. How annoying. But we do have Twer and we can use them. So let's go over to Twer. Ask to prepare for war. And they're joining. So we can go for this. Let's go. Stab loss, classic. Alexander embarrasses the court. But he's restoring the empire, man. New heir, decent. Holy crap, these Abbasid separatists keep spawning constantly. I could finish the war with Sassanids, but these guys have 38 developments, so this one province right here, 30% overextension. That's crazy. I cannot afford that right now. Okay, now I'm ready to annex Sassanids. Good. Let's concentrate. Oh, wait for the mission, I need Hormuz as well. I did not notice that. Okay, so we can fight Hormuz next. Looks like Novgorod is ready to give me war reps. All I really need from them. Good, overextension is down. I'm ready to take the three provinces that I needed. War reps and money. Let's go. Oh, Twer, what are you doing, bro? Lithuania to Rovan Podolia. That's nothing, right? Yeah, sure, why not? In the meantime, I'll just start my own war. Boom. It's time for tier 6 government reform. I'm definitely gonna go for advisor costs and yearly corruption reduction. Super helpful. Recently have corruption because of the overextension, so this helps a lot. Ah, got you here, boy. Got you here. I really need to get a Gujarat out of this war, man. And looks like I can peace out from this war. I don't need to continue this. Where won't like it, but I have a lot of favors and I can trade them for trust. That's what I thought. Gujarat Breaker Alliance, get out of here, man. That's it, Hormuz. Your days are counted. Okay, honestly, I'm happy with something like this. Thank you so much. I only really needed the province of Hormuz anyways. And now we can finally complete this mission over here. Yearly prestige and diplo reputation until the end of the game and Persian as accepted culture. Not much is left, boys. Not much at all. Actually, let me get some trade companies going over here. One in Hormuz too. Okay, nice. That's an extra merchant as we have above 50%. And we can use him to collect at Basra or Hormuz. Oh, nice. The trade income is so much higher now. Matter of fact, let me add these prices to the trade company too. And that's one more merchant. Now we can actually send from Hormuz to Basra. And I'm definitely gonna need some caravels to protect trade over here. Now if I send some insults to Delhi, Bahmanis and Bengal might wanna ally me shortly. Damn, these guys formed Kiev on the Rus. Nice, good job, bros. Yodoro and Podolia, sure, we can help you out. By doing nothing, of course. And we can peace out. We are such a good ally. Now let me take a few loans at this point. 
I want to embrace the institution finally. Take level 14 admin and new idea group. And I will be going for trade ideas, I think. Because I kind of need more money. So this should help. Let's embrace a couple of them right away. And even get the level 14 Diplo. Another merchant is awesome. Ooh, Bachman is so close. Proclaim guarantee and we're ready to ally them. They will be helping me out versus Delhi. Send these ships to protect and Hormuz plus for profit. Now who the hell is this Rob guy? One province miner, Zarastian. But hey, Delhi is allied with Sindh and Rob is being protected by Sindh. So what I could realistically do... Oh, even Shaprids, okay. I will wait one more year and I will probably get into a war versus Shaprids, Sindh. And then I will break Sindh's alliances. With a little bit of adjustments in my trade companies, I'm now able to make 60 ducats from trade alone. And this completely covers my loans. Alright, I'm ready to declare this war on Rob, co-belligerent Shaprids. And I can even call in Pachmanis to help me out. So they can deal with Multan and Sindh for me. And I can just focus on these little guys. Let's go. Let's get another trade idea. Trade range is amazing. The gold mine in Kosovo unfortunately depleted. So let's get it up again. Had it at like 11 or 12. So yeah, I'll need to work on this a bit more. I'm ready to break Sin's alliance with Delhi. Sirhind, they can keep it. And let's piece them out like this. Now Multan, break alliances. Yeah, all of your alliances. And you can go. And this Rob guy is just one province miner, man. I think, yeah, we can just annex him. Cool, we are done with this. It's about time we get more alliances ourselves. Hmm, maybe someone like Kilva. I mean, sure, they're not bad. I'll go ahead and ally them. We can sell some titles and seize lands. And repay a couple of loans. Actually, I'm gonna exchange my 1% ones first. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. New age ability, let's go for ship trade propagation this time. This is a level 4 fort which is awesome. We can actually remove this level 2 one next to it, keeping the forts at minimum. So what's left for me to take is basically I need just one more war with Send and one war with Delhi. And we could do those like pretty much now. First with Delhi and then Send. So let me get this army a little bit stronger. And I think I will be going for it. Prepare for war, Bahmanis. They're still level 14. Okay, man. Vijayanagar, Gujarat, Bahmanis. Let's go, man. I only need two provinces, so I'm not gonna drag this for too long. Just get a few occupations quickly. And let's forget about this, right? They have 100k units after all, so... Gotta be a little bit careful. Nice advance, boys. Looks like we have removed Gujarat. Okay, this religious idea is super important. Because we unlocked the Deucewold, permaclaim against neighboring headens and heretics. And we have new policies. Oh my goodness, these are insane. Religious and offensive must be best combo. Absolute chef's kiss. Missionary strength versus heretics plus 3% and religious unity 20%. Yes, please. And I'll even take one more in cost of 1 admin power per month. 2% missionary strength from espionage and religious. Super insane boost for our conversions. And we're up to 74% religious unity now. Wait, what? Rob spawned again? Oh, Malva did some nasty stuff here in Sindh. Wait, does this mean I will need to fight? No, no, I won't need to fight Malva. But I will need to fight these two little guys right here. Serenus and Rob again. But we don't have the truce with them anymore. Uh, we can wait a little bit, maybe Malva won't protect them anymore. And we got Delhi's capital, this should be enough to finish the war. Not quite, couple more occupations and we can finish for sure. Oh yeah, now we definitely can finish because Bahman is peaced out. Yeah, so give me the two provinces that I needed, uh, lots of cash. Can we get war reps? Uh, nah, we can't, but I'm not gonna wait for it, so let's just finish this. Let's score it up. Okay, we can declare on this guy, holy war. And this guy allied Malva, okay. In any case, I won't wait for them to get any more alliances. I will just declare now and deal with Malva. 
cool, cool, cool. These guys are occupied. Here we go. Let's actually assault this. He's nowhere close. We can afford to do this. Here we go. Go to his capital real quick. He can enjoy sieging me. I don't care about it. It's not gonna take long before he gives me the white piece. But minus one's help versus Bengal. Um, sorry buddy. Give me another barrage and... We don't need to assault this. It's 49%. Egypt is a bit unhappy. Okay. And here we go. They're done. They are done. Here's our peace deal with this guy. And it's only send a left. And I will finish them after a couple years. Let me repay one more loan. Oh, here we go. We're now making some real cash. I can confidently say that we have recovered from all this struggle with our debt. Since we are earning so much from trade now. Trade ideas are definitely a lifesaver together with trade companies here in Persia, in Arabia and so on. Let's take level 15 admin. And here is our last war. Let's go. Holy war. Advisor costs at this time? Sure. Though our clergy loyalty is not looking that nice, to be honest. Okay, a couple forts down. We can go over, visit Gujarat for a nice vacation. Very nice vacation here in Gujarat. Yeah, he's had enough. Give me your cash, boy. And our war is done. Let me just full annex. Send. There we go. All that's left is to core it up. Wait, I was like, I have all the provinces needed looking at this. And then I see Shahi? What the hell is this? Okay, never mind. So they blended in and I actually did not notice these provinces. I mean, thankfully, these guys have no alliances, so it's over for them, but that's a nice chameleon action over there. Now, can we do this until 1600s? I will try to barrage and assault this fort. Hopefully, I can make it. I would love to. Come on, come on, boys, rush. We don't have much time. Yeah, they're dead. Now, I need just some more mill power. Come on, barrage. No, it didn't finish. I did not have enough points to assault it. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's 1600. We have everything we need now. Here we go. Mission completed. Reclaim Greco Bactria. Unlocks Macedonia Cosmetic Formable. Admin efficiency plus 5%. Monthly autonomy change for 50 years. Lots of perma claims. And empowers our national idea by an additional 10% core creation cost. Yes, please. Restore the Macedonian Empire. Definitely. Let's go. Oh, it's glorious. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, so our last idea got empowered. It's 25% core creation cost. Honestly, insane military ideas. And we nearly finished them. This right here is where I will end this campaign. It was super fun and it was quite challenging to do it by 1600s. I actually never got back to Croatia and Styria for doing this mess and stealing my Serbian provinces. But it's okay, we will forgive them this time. Now if we look into the religious map mode, I tried converting as many provinces as I could. I converted like half of Anatolia here, basically all my Balkan provinces. And a little bit here and there, you know. At the start, yeah, it was kind of messy. After converting, the rebels were going crazy. Had a lot of issues with loans this game, but I managed to fix it in the end by increasing my trade income with my trade companies, trade ideas. And you know, speaking about trade ideas, uh, after finishing them I would have two new policies available. And it's pretty useful. I could go for additional 10% goods produced modifier, 10% trade efficiency, and increase my income even more. Yeah, we do have this reform, the Hellenic faith option here. In this game I did not upgrade my great projects, so I cannot reform the religion and I don't own Alexandria directly because I released the vassal of Egypt. If I wanted to I could seize this province for myself, I could upgrade this monument but there's no more point to do so because this campaign is ending right here. So as always thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video be sure to click the like button. If you would like to support the channel even more you can become a patron or a channel member, you can find the links in the description. And with this being my last video for 1.35, I'll see you guys in the next patch and DLC. Goodbye.